Here's some stuff you need to know. So what is Milo Insulation? What sets it apart from all other insulation companies? Well, Milo Insulation is a natural plastic that is made from grain sorghum that we have developed into a insulation. What separates it is the fact that it looks like a packing peanut, but the inside of it contains tiny air pockets. Okay. And that's important because whenever you initially install, you know, traditional blow-in insulation, it's nice and fluffy, and that's because there's a lot of air in there, and that right. trapped air is what actually creates the thermal barrier. Over time, that air escapes, and it flattens and shrinks and starts losing its R value. With Milo, if you were to take one of those peanuts and break it open, you would notice there's thousands of little tiny air bubbles on the inside. And because the air always remains on the inside of the product, it maintains its R value. Milex or Milo has uh, virtually zero shrinkage. So once it settles, it creates an amazing thermal blanket that is there for the life of the home. You never have to re-insulate because the air always remains on the inside of the product. The, probably your biggest question is always, how do you keep bugs and mice and rats and things, squirrels, from eating it? Because Well, there's two, there's two good answers to that, Jim. First place, the way we process the grain, we remove all of the proteins and the fats. Right. So it's not a food source anymore. Okay. So they're not attracted to it. The next thing we do is we toss it in boric powder and it makes it flame resistant, but it also makes it uh, bug resistant. Bugs right. don't like the borax any more than, right. than the flame does. So uh, this product is made from all natural stuff. Where does it come from? It comes from, uh, from farmers that we've got uh, in Texas. We've got a network of about 14 farmers from Perryton, Texas, which is right up close to the Oklahoma border, all the way down to McAllen. So, so we've got about 14 farmers throughout the state of Texas that uh, actually produce the sorghum and uh, send it to us in Tulia, Texas, where it's all processed. We're well, going through that long a distance. Uh, you just passed through three different weather cycles in, in a ma that, matter that of... Was <laughs> the, the, the specific reason why we did it that way. If one region had a bad crop year for whatever reason, uh, we would have other regions that we can choose from to make sure that we have a, a, a good supply and we're not into a uh, supply shortage. Right, and, and I'm assuming you would have almost a year-round supply that way because their growing seasons are different. That's correct. We actually have two different um, growing seasons that for us that we get shipments in, uh, but we usually stay about a year ahead uh, okay. in uh, supply so that you know we always make sure that we have enough material so that there's not a supply chain shortage. Want more videos like these? Make sure to hit that subscribe button. It'll keep you informed.